Hello everybody, welcome back to Hermitcraft. I'm actually at the Halloween district and um, that's because I haven't actually finished the build that I was I was working on. So I I wanted to finish it and I know it's not Halloween and blah blah blah. blah but I know Kitty. Um, I did want to finish it because I had like ideas and stuff and you know that's... It's always nice. Um, I am just going to finish down the basement. Um, I wasn't intending to just do that, but I, I'm, I'm feeling like I need to. And, you know, that's, that's fine. It's fine. Um, so, yes, today's episode is going to be it's going to be a short one because I'm still I'm going to say recovering and leave it at that. Um, but, yeah, I'm, it's it's good. I'm back. For, relatively speaking. Hello, chicken. I can see you. In fact, I need to make a bed because I don't need to, you know, worry anymore about phantoms because, yeah, there's going to be a prank coming from that. Just so we know. OK, I got myself some concrete. Now, I'm going to make a relatively deep sized sort of cauldron in here. Um, I am going to go down a little bit for it because it needs to be relatively big. Like the whole of the room <laughs> for what I've intended to do with it so um yeah okay I'm just gonna dig out I mean literally that's only a few blocks if I've, if I've done it like that so hmm maybe I won't do it that way hmm Actually, that sort of size cauldron sort of works for me. So, yes, I'm going to build up this size and then I'm going to have, like, something down here. Maybe a meat processing plant or not. We'll see. I cannot remember if it's soul sand or... Hmm. Is it soul sand or is it magma that does the column, the... the the upwards bubble column i'm not sure um i've got both so i don't suppose it matters uh let's have um let's let's have a test because i can i can't remember so okay right so if i put Right, if I put a magma... Magma seems... Ah, uh, logical. Oh, right, that's m moving water. I want, kind of want... There's a definite... There's a definite bubble effect going... Need more water! Emergency water! Okay, it's a downward one. Okay, right, I'm going to uh, take that and I'm going to replace it with Zolzan because I'm assuming that that's the issue. Oh, hang on. I need to put some cobble underneath before I replace it with Zolzan. No, 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 no. Cobble. There we go. And soul sand. There we go. Soul sand is the one that I want. There's a, there's a song in there. Hang on. No, no, no. I know, game. Stop. I'm out. It's fine. Chill your boots. It's fine, game. Stop being so weird. Oh, let's have a look. Yes, that's the start of my, uh, my machinations, I guess. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I love the fact that, I mean, I'd intended it to be green, so... I mean, it all works pretty well. Um, do kind of have to keep on taking this down because I need to get to the other side and it's not quite deep enough yet. Okay, so yeah, I do love the fact that we've got a nice bubbling cauldron. Um, this idea was borrowed from... I say borrowed, I stole my this idea. Um, from my patrons. Um, they're usually okay with that. And I did ask if I could steal it and they said yes. So, yes, the, cult the cauldron is stolen from the Halloween build. If you have not seen my hate patrons do Halloween, they're, they're much 
better at it than pretty much anyone else I know. Um, so, yeah. Hang on. Up here? Okay. That's still... The, s the water is very odd these days. Okay, so... Do I need that? Do I need this second layer? I mean, if I keep it like that, so you come down, you see the cauldron and you go, oh no, that's exactly what you do. Um, okay. So we've got like the nice bubbling cauldron. I feel like I should get some fire going on down below. Or at least the illusion of fire. So if I were to get um, just down here, so, I mean, it doesn't really... Hmm. Considering that fire tick is actually turned off on the server, if I just set light to the blocks beneath, would it be okay? Oh, you know what I can put beneath that I hadn't thought of? Something that's uh, very hot looking. So if I just uh, put like a magma layer just underneath, it looks like it's burning the cold. Oh, hang on. Let's just. Yeah, there we go. It's boiling the cauldron from underneath. That works. And then I'll figure something out. I'll figure something out. It'll be fine. Um, I'm going to need some kind of... Uh, I don't need stairs for the cauldron. We've got these stairs for the cauldron. I might put a ladder in so they can just start throwing things in. Right, first things first. Let's get some vegetables in the soup. Right, here we go. We've got an armor stand. So um, I am going to apply, not apply gravity to this guy. He's got a carrot in his hand. So not visible. Okay, and now we need to... Which, oh, it's going to go that way. Okay, right. So, Z. Okay, so we need to move it in the other direction. Okay. Where do I want my carrots to be held? I'm not sure. We'll just move him in. And I think if I turn... Ooh. Hmm. He needs to be... Ooh, that arm needs to be further down. Let's make him small. Yes. Small stand. Yes. Right, there we go. That's fine. Can I move him down? Uh, I can't move him down. Uh-hmm. Now, do I need to put him further? I mean, that's that's a good start. But ideally, I would want him to go further down. All right, this armor stand is set to be a little bit more sinister. Make this the stand invisible. And I want it to go in the pot. Yeah, that, uh, let's put it in a little bit more. And let's make him, let's move the right arm a little bit. I think this way. No, I should probably not have given him the carrot. You know what, that's fine, we're just going to lock him. Lock, so we've got the small head. Oh no, I'm back here again. I keep on doing this. I just, I'm just really bad at life and things, mostly life. Okay, so we've got. All right, so we've got some little booties, and I can't remember which way to nudge the Z direction. Oh, I'm, I'm correct. That's unusual. Um. Yep, yeah, nudge it in the Z direction. Yep, some little booties in an arabesque sort of motion. So, and I think we're going to move them that way. Yep, so. 
There we go. Nice soup for everyone. <laughs> I do love this as an idea. Um, I do want some... Oh, yeah, I've, I've protected myself. However, I did just fall down this one. I'm concerned about myself, to be honest. This is quite worrying. Why do I do this to myself? All right, so I am calling it finished for now. Uh, no, 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 it's a short episode, but it's fine. So we've got like a little gingerbread cottage and kids coming up and this child falling over is running away. This one running not fast enough, I'm going to imagine. When did I give him chicken? It doesn't matter. He's, he's got um, a child, a small child's head from the same village of the cod people. Um, so it's baby green, effectively. Um, so, yeah, so he's there. There's blood dripping on the floor. When you come inside, it's a little bit more sinister. We've got this little jar. I couldn't get um, the trap door on top because if you put a trap door on top, it looks like a jar. Couldn't do it. Um, I screwed up every single time. So my patrons have one over on me. They normally do. That's fine. So, But I've got a little flame in a jar. My patrons do it better. Uh, just a random head on the thing. This guy is here chopping potatoes with an axe, which should probably let you know that something sinister is going on. There is a dead child's body here. I feel like this child should be leaning back more, but yeah, details. I have a... They have a bed here randomly. Up the top, we've got the little stress monster child um, looking down at us. And you've got the falling chicken child... Um, who is who you've just doomed to fall out or, or rescued one of the two i like the little chopping board that i've got here i've got a slightly bigger version downstairs and then we've got the nothing is wrong with this i do not fall to my death on a regular basis. So we've got like the, the head and the booties of the children. Along with some vegetables. I like the fact that the water is green in the swamp. Because it gives it a cold kind of... No, they're actually making soup kind of vibe. Which I like. And then we've got the guy pouring in a magic potion up the top. And down below we've got like the little fire bricks which is what's boiling it. I've got some nether wart here, and then this guy is uh, seasoning vegetables with his pepper, which he's got in his hand, and there are vegetables over there, and some meat, because of course, what kind of meat is the question? I feel like I should have a slightly sinister chest labelled, you know, like Barry and Jeff and Susan um, here. But yes, this is my little Halloween build. Um, and I actually kind of like it. It's got a like, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. Armour stands maketh the project. So it's, it's very quiet on the outside, but it's got nice little tableaus. I do love this. Anyway, I've been Zombie Cleo. This has been Hermitcraft. Class dismissed.